Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I need to take an earbud out because I just hear echoing in my head. Um, welcome back to another episode of the Atlanta United Crew Mode. Today is uh, Saturday as I'm recording this, which means Weekend League does start today. I did get a new controller in today because uh, I was having issues that I kind of felt like just blaming on the game. So we were doing that and uh, now I need to find out if it was really the game or if it's my fault. Uh, this is a pretty, pretty, pretty solid controller. It's um, because you guys know, oh, you guys know I play on PC. So I got the Razer Xbox One made for Windows PC controller, whatever. Basically, it's an Xbox Elite One controller, but specifically made for PC. And it's got RGB on it that you can control with your hue lights, which is cool. Um, but chroma lights is what I should have said, not hue lights. Hue lights is what's in the room. Chroma is what controls everything from my computer, basically. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. We are going to uh, go through training, make sure we reset those players, simulate that, and we're going to keep things going. As you guys know from the previous episode, we currently have a 62 manager rating because of the contract issues we were going through, and basically the team wanted me to give other players on the team more money to balance out and get a little bit closer to Joseph Martinez. Uh, Eric Kubo Torres wants to play this game, but we're obviously not going to start him against Orlando of all teams. Um, so Joseph Martinez will start, but we will be bringing on uh, Kubo Torres, hopefully uh, in the second half if we get a big enough lead. But we are on ultimate difficulty. We are on competitor mode. Um, so, you know, anything can happen. And hopefully that doesn't happen. I don't I don't feel like losing to Orlando this year. I think I, I, think I might have. Did I lose to Orlando last year? Does anybody remember? Can somebody let me know in the comment section down below? Did I lose to Orlando last year? I think I got close, but I don't think I ever actually did. I feel like my computer's updating something. Damn, Brad can't save any of those. Well, this is the kind of match every football fan All right. looks forward to. This is my basically my warm up. This episode is basically my warm up for weekend occasion. league. Stay tuned. We'll have all the Which again, if you guys don't follow us over at Twitch, make sure you do twitch.tv forward slash malish. I want to skip this. Why why can I not skip this? Thank you. Okay, I will say one thing is look with this controller, the buttons are kinda hard to press. Like the uh the actual um AXYB buttons, they're kinda they're kinda hard to press. Like they have some like pushback, but it's not a bad thing. It just feels a little weird. Let's go. But the controller feels good in terms of our gameplay. It'll take me a second to get used to it. But um, I think it feels good so far. But we'll see how it goes. Goal in the first three minutes of the game. Joseph Martinez bags his 14th goal of the season, I believe. Yes, 14 goals. Absolutely insane. And we're not losing to Orlando. I refuse to let it happen. Oh, look at that run, dude. We just pulled the defender completely out of place. We get the shot and the goal. 2-0 in the first 10 minutes. This might get ugly. Rosetto pulls the defender. The, the lane opens so far wide for Joseph Martinez. And it's a nice little easy walk in to the back of the net. Let's go, boys. Two goals within six minutes of each other. And we're absolutely killing it this game. Oh, that's a nice ball in. That's a goal. Okay, Orlando. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of taking me a second to get used to the, the size of the controller uh, because it is a little bit bigger than the, the pseudo fake 360 controller I've been using for the past uh, two weeks. But we're starting to get a little bit more comfortable. I need to start le stop leaning onto my right arm. I don't know why I do that when I play FIFA. But it makes me hold the controller weird. I mean, I already kind of hold the controller weird with my right hand, but... Um, it makes it even more weird. Nice ball into Barco. I see Joseph trying to make a run, but he never really pushed where I needed him to be. Shouldn't have crossed that, honestly. All right, end of the first half. Only a, a one goal lead. After such a hard, hot, uh, blah, hot start, if I could talk, my brain's not working today. And I feel like that's been happening to a lot of people recently. I don't know if it's just quarantine getting to people or what, but I feel like everybody I've talked to has like had issues talking. Even like content creators I've been watching is just like struggling to talk. Um, but anyways, I was surprised we only have a uh, one goal lead. 
the team's starting to play a little bit different. Orlando's starting to play a little bit more different. And I think that's the biggest thing about competitor mode is I don't know if they're actually coded to learn how to play against you um, and your play style or if it's just the way competitor mode plays that does well against me. But uh, it's usually, you know, after the first... 30-ish minutes, they really start turning up, and then uh, I really have to start trying to make sure that I'm getting the wins and whatnot, so pardon me as I focus up just a little bit, because again, I am not trying to lose this game at all. Oh no, mm, oh thank god, because this team is starting to press a little bit. Oh no, oh god, Nani. Such a bad pass. No. Such a bad. I've got to stop trying to pass to my center backs, man. Our team just isn't good enough for me to be trying to do that. They are just absolutely nowhere near good enough for me to be trying to do that. Into Moreno. Into Joseph. Out wide. Back into Joseph. Marcelino Moreno. Marcelino. Marcelino? Oh, okay. We got to make some subs. Boys are starting to get a little tired. Barco, I'm, I kind of want to play Barco somewhere else. He's not being able, he's not able to beat that defender. Um, their their uh, right back is marking him like crazy. Uh, but we're going to bring in Torres because he has to play. And then we're also going to bring on Heinemann. Um, and that's it for now. We're going to save a sub just in case. We'll see what we need. And then we can also kind of move around uh, Barco and maybe bring in Will Rainey or something like that. Uh, and maybe take out Rosetto. We'll kind of see. We'll play with this team for a couple minutes and then see what it's feeling like. And then make our last sub based off of that. Oh, Barco straight just missed the ball. He missed the tackle on the ball. Waiting for support to arrive. Dude, they're literally holding the ball in the corner. That is the team that I'm playing. That is competitor mode in a nutshell. A 12th place team refusing to attack even though they've had the ball down here for God knows how long. Literally time wasting to, to get a draw in career mode and still almost won the game. Oh my God. Oh, we almost threw it, dude. We scored two goals in 10 minutes of the game. The first 10 minutes of the game. And then I couldn't break the team down after that, man. I just couldn't figure out where I needed to be and couldn't get the goals we needed. That's so disappointing, dude. That is so disappointing. We end up dropping points to Orlando. I didn't leave you on the bench. You played. What? He wanted to start? Keep working on your game. Well, now I'm mad I even brought him in. Now I'm mad I even brought him in. Let's reset the players, do a little bit of training, and then I'm going to train with my uh, my starters this time. Our thing went down, but I think it's because we lost the game. I don't think that has anything to do with anything else. Hopefully, hopefully. As discussed with your, uh, as discussed with yourself before, huh? As discussed with yourself before the current season began, expanding our brand uh, represented an important target for the club. At this moment in time, it looks unlikely that we'll be able to meet their, that target. We would ask you now to revisit the very clear objectives the club uh, set out to achieve and urge you to do your very best to accomplish what was expected from you as the manager this season. Brand exposure, we didn't end up signing the one player because the transfer window was closed um, and we didn't want to use the first one. Maybe I should have signed somebody, but I didn't. Um, and get a streak of five clean sheets in the home league matches. So I have to do that because it is a high priority. Um, obviously we have to reach the, the playoff final as well. Um, and we need to make a $3.4 million profit from youth player sales within two years. So we need to sell people off. No, no, uh, no issue with that. And, uh, we're still working on signing players from the youth Academy, even though I already have, but it doesn't look like it's filling out, um, the positions correctly. So that's interesting. That might be a glitch. 
We're not going to be coaching Bulgaria. I do have international offers on in case a good team does come for me. Um, I'd be willing to listen just for international uh, games. Obviously, it could be fun, though. Um, but we're going to hop into a game. We're playing against Real Salt Lake. Full starting lineup still in the team. We're going to keep progressing. This game is at home. So let's see if we can get a clean sheet um, and keep our streak going and hopefully get that streak of five uh, in the next few episodes. Well, All right, back at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. 24 goals in seven going. games. What? For the live action. He hasn't scored 24 goals. He scored 14. Stadium here in Atlanta, Georgia, on what it's 14 goals, not 24. Did this game... Career mode is something special this year, man. They tried to make it better and somehow just shipped a whole bunch of glitches with it in the process. That ball's not good to Joseph. But here we go, Real Salt Lake. Let's see if we can get a clean sheet and a win here. We've been struggling on defense. That's been our hardest part about Ultimate Difficulty. Scoring hasn't been too much of a problem, but the defense has been shocking so far. So let's tighten up a little bit, see if we can get a clean sheet and keep uh, the wins coming, hopefully, or at least keep an unbeaten streak going. Meza, I need you to play defense. Oh my God, it is the most annoying thing ever. If you, if you are... Um, trying to uh, manually defend with jockeying if you run over the ball your player just doesn't even make an attempt at the ball so i literally just ran over the ball right there multiple times with three different players but uh ultimate difficulty might be kicking my butt here but again i'm here for the challenge so i'm down for it how how is your damn offside there you're literally standing behind the ball just stand behind like just stand behind the player why are you standing in front of me bro like come on that's such an easy thing to not be offside for cannot believe it Rosetto, oh, Rosetto's right foot is just absolute shite, bro. I have got to stop trying to hit that with Rosetto. It's just not going to work. If it's not crossbody, he ain't scoring it. We're at the end of the first half. It's going to be a lot. That was supposed to be a skill move. Hello? Martinez with it. Moreno. Jurgen Damm. A chance to whip it in. However, a well thought out piece of defending. And overcame the ball from the black. All right, end of the first half. In the end. Chances so just weren't good enough. Story has been ah. Man, breaking down this defense is tough right now. They got that goal, so they're just kind of sitting back now. They're not really pushing us too much, um, which is obviously making it even more difficult to try and win this game. But uh, we'll see what Johnson. we can do here. Play in this match. Ball into Rosetto. Rosetto. Ah, let's go. It got it went off the post, but it's a goal nonetheless. Let's go, baby. Oh my god. Barely. Barely a goal. Alright, 61st minute. Let's make subs. Um in terms of I mean, I think we play Castro here. He's not he's he's not happy, but we'll play Castro. Um, because of that loan thing that came in the mail. But uh, other than that, I don't really know what else I want to change right now. I'm going to leave the team as is. It's just one change, 60th minute. Uh, we'll see how the team goes, see if anybody really gets truly tired, and then we'll make some more subs. Just got to keep pushing for that second goal. Got to get the win. Ooh, that's a nice ball into Castro. Castro! Hit it wide. Damn it. it. That was the best chance. I should have passed it to Barco, but I wanted Castro to get a chance. Wanted him to prove something to me, and he couldn't do it. He couldn't do it, man. Moreno. Remedi. Oh, what a pass. What a, what a pass from Castro. That was perfect. We absolutely dragged the defense all over the place right there. Let's go, baby. The passing was perfect. Beautiful pass from Castro. That wasn't even a through ball. That was just a... Uh, that was an X, but it was a perfectly placed pass. Let's go, dude. 2-1. We're back in the lead, and we're about to make our last two subs as well. Goal number three. Oh, what a save. 
Oh my god. He actually got to that ball. Jesus Christ. Tried to sweaty it and still couldn't even score. Last two subs coming in. Eric. Oh my god. Kubo Torres. Tries to score in his first touch of the game with a header. Love to see it. Love the tenacity. Five minutes left. Just got to hold the lead now. End of the game. Just kick it up the field. Jurgen Dam gets it. And that is the end of it. We come away with another victory. This time a 2-1 so not not a not as big of wins as we were getting in the past few episodes, but the ultimate difficulty feels a lot better now. We're actually getting a little bit of a challenge here, and we're gonna keep things going in the next episode. Currently in second place, but two games in hand on Inter Miami to get that first place seed back uh, for the playoffs. But if you guys did enjoy, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next one, I'll see you guys later. Peace. Is it my fault?